Well, welcome to Pastors Chat again. It's yes. good to be here. Another week, That's another it. Pastors Chat. That's it. And, um, I enjoyed last week. A few fun questions. Yeah, that was really good That's to it. look at a few yeah, those sort of fun style questions. That's Hopefully it. they revealed a little bit more about who we are. That's so it. keep those sort of questions coming. Love to love to hear them. Yeah. And we're moving this week, I believe, from some different questions you've got. Yeah, quite a as li- little bit more heavy. Yep. Uh, I actually came across a blog, and the blog was called 10 Questions You Want to Ask Your Pastor but are too afraid to ask. There we go. So I just wonder how many of these you were sort of thinking, oh gee, I'd like to know that. So we'll just work through them and we'll share from our heart again, Mm. uh, being as honest as we can about some of these questions about about being a Mm. pastor. There's some good ones here. Most of them we haven't talked about before. A couple of them we have, but most of them will be new for you. Yeah, Yeah. well, the first one's one we have looked at before. What do pastors do during the week? We Mm. pretty well did a whole pastors chat on this, didn't we? We did. And I think we spoke that there's a lot of different stuff we do during the week. Yep. We do prepare sermons, but we pastoral yep. care. Yep. Um, I do a bit of video editing. I yep. work with young people and programs and youth group and yep. kids club and young adults. There's a big part now. Yep. We've got a lot of young adults at our church. Yeah, which is really good. Mm. Yeah, today, I'd spent six and a half hours in a Zoom meeting for yep. the uh, National Council of Churches of yep. Christ. So mm. that's a bit of a, a newer hat that I'm wearing. Um, so that was something a bit different. Yeah, they're not quite as fun Zoom meetings. I've had a few oh, of those. No, I don't like them at all. all. It's great to be able to connect a bit more frequently with people away, but just part of the job though. Meetings is another big part of the job though. Yeah. Um, meetings and leading teams and meeting, meeting. people, planning mm. our different events yep. and so on. So right. Lots of things. Mm. Next one, how much time does it take to prepare a sermon? Mm. This is another one we did touch. I think yeah. we did a whole episode yeah, last year no, or, yeah and it does vary i'd probably i think we came down to around 20 hours on average did we Is yeah that what we said there's a bit yeah. of a statistic that goes around that good quality prep should be approximately one hour per minute of your sermon so i don't know um, some people would take a long time then to prepare yeah. <laughs> well sometimes it might show that the longer someone's yeah. sermon sort of if it tends to be one of those long waffly ones mm. probably means i didn't put enough well i just the one i just preached on recently um, which I think I did go for about half an hour in the end, but most of my time for that was actually cutting yeah. the stuff after I'd written it. And yeah, because we ages in working. Right in the midst of cut. our uh, apologetic yeah. series, and how, how to stay stuff more yeah. succinctly. And, it, yeah, mm. it's very well. There's so much information about mm. each topic that we're covering, and yep. just chapters and chapters in yeah. the books that we've got. So it's hard right. to then bring it back. Mm. And, and there's they, definitely they definitely take longer to write than other ones. I think sometimes yeah. the end of ones that might only take eight hours or something like yeah. that. Yeah. And it's probably fair to say that the longer we do, we do this, like mm. I've been doing this now for 26 years, mm. um, definitely now it takes me shorter because yeah. you just you just learn definitely. a few different uh, skills, a few yeah. different strategies. Mm. Uh, hopefully it also means that in our mind and our heart, we're mm. banking up a lot of inspiration exactly. from the Lord and knowledge about the scriptures and so mm. on. But uh, I think it's fair to say we both put in pretty good. I hope so. I hope so. We sure. don't just rock up on Sunday and... Preach yeah. one. Pie in the yep. sky. Oh, here's a verse and yep. make it up as we go. Yeah, along. that's it. Never. All right, now here's an interesting one. How much do pastors get paid? Oh, that is an interesting one. Not enough, do we just say? Or, or, or yep. none of your business? Yeah. That's an interesting <laughs> one because people think pastors are notoriously poor. Is, yeah. um, in the past, they think, oh, it's a terrible paying job. And um, yeah, like I know my dad wanted to go into ministry a long, long time ago and he's a chaplain now when he's going to pastor and mm-hmm. his father-in-law was like, you can't do that because you're not going to make any money. <laughs> Didn't want his yeah. daughter yeah, to be exactly. living in poverty. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think there, there used to be a bit of a philosophy in churches mm. is um, you've got to keep your pastor humble and one way to keep them humble is to not pay them too much. <laughs> wow. And uh, you know, So when the pastor would buy a, a new car or a new suit for a wedding or something, you'd go, oh, I must be overpaying you. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you do um, hear that. Yeah. yeah, when I bought my new car, they're like, the pastor can't drive a car like that. And yeah. It wasn't that flash of a car, but yeah. probably at the time, maybe it looked okay. But yeah. um, it's just interesting. Yeah. But we don't get paid that bad. No, yeah. look, you're not going to get wealthy from being mm. a pastor because yeah. you certainly don't want the reason people come into ministry mm. to be for monetary gain. Yeah. We also want to make sure that pastors and their families are well looked after, mm. particularly if you want to retain pastors. Got to sort of mm. look after him. I think last I looked into it, it was um, it's one of the lower grade pays within the for what you have a degree for. So mm-hmm. if you get a degree, it's towards the lower grade, but it's still it's above all those jobs that you don't have a degree. So yeah. like it's still in that class of degree yeah. based jobs. Yeah. You know, you, our our wage, mm. we should point out, our wage is set by Churches of Christ, mm. Victoria, Tasmania. Yeah, it's not a percentage of your offerings. No, <laughs> no, it's not. No, how we works. don't do a 50 50 split no. or anything like yeah, that. It's no set commission. by. 
by our state body mm. and uh, then they report that every year with um, things like GDP increases and, and so on mm. and, and taxes and various things but that's uh, an independently set mm. thing that the church does choose to find. More than enough to be comfortable. And um, yeah. pastors still tithe too, don't they? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I do anyway. It's a yeah. very important part of our mm. Uh, mm. Christian discipline. Mm. So I know that. Remember, it was a while ago, someone did ask me, I said, oh, you guys wouldn't have to tithe, would you? Yeah. It's just giving the money back you got paid. And I was like, oh, yeah. it doesn't quite work like that. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. Yeah. Just one. What about this one, the next one? What do pastors usually talk about when they get together? Oh, there mm. you go. Would depend with which pastor. I'd say, yeah, if the Mandalorian season's going or something like that, we'd probably chat about Star Wars and the Mandalorian. Yeah, um, us personally. But what do you chat about with pastors? Yeah, there are. I find that there's a couple of different categories you could put this mm. in. When you get together with a group of pastors that you don't tend to know as well, there seems to be that little bit of an insecure. I'm going to brag on my church mm. and say, you know, oh, how's your church going? Oh, good. Yeah, we had five baptisms. Oh, <laughs> we had ten, and that kind of. You do see that a little bit. How many kinda. people do you get? How big yeah, is group? It's yeah. one that we often hear. Yeah. But um, I know that for, for me, because uh, Kylie can't stand it when we go out with particularly other pastors and their families and we spend the whole night talking about church. So I've made a bit of a bit of an agreement. So obviously, obviously we, we catch up with Naomi and Bruce Thorne quite a bit because Naomi is a minister at the Redcliffe Church of Christ. So we have a good relationship with them as a church. So we have a rule now. So if we catch up with, with Bruce and Naomi for dinner, say on Saturday night, Naomi and I will get together on Friday and have coffee or lunch together and just talk church. So we're talking about what's going on with you, how are you going with COVID with this, and you're going to summit and you're doing this. So that when it comes to Saturday, we can just talk about family and other things, not mm. church related. So that's a we do that quite deliberately. And I find though too, pastors are some of the best ones to talk about church, particularly um, well, other pastors usually aren't in your church. Mm -hmm. so I find they're some of the best ones to lean on as far as talking yeah. about ministry, about leading volunteers, about yep. leading church. So Ideas, just, no ideas. Yeah, what do you much. think of this? Yeah. What do you think of that? At or? the moment, COVID decisions is a big one actually. Yeah. I've been chatting, or a few have been asking me, like, what are you doing about the vaccination rules and what are you doing mm. to run youth group yep. this way? So it's been important to get together with pastors yeah. talk about that as well so yeah. a bit of everything really and i like to talk with pastors who lead churches that are just that step ahead of us mm, yeah. so whatever our membership you look at someone who's got a membership yeah. of, say two or three hundred more than us because yeah. they're yeah. obviously they've been through where we're at now to mm. give you that advice so yeah. that's always a good thing and it's not quite like other jobs sometimes you don't see as many pastors around like you do my wife sees whereas well, a few in our young adults group they're all <laughs> teachers man they start talking boring teacher stuff and yeah, yeah. It's um, well, it's not boring. It's just a lot of teacher stuff in terms of. Oh, when you're not a teacher. Yeah, exactly. It, and it be might boring. be the same with pastors. I don't know. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Well, Next this one flows on pretty well. Yeah. Do all pastors get along with each other? Mm. Interesting. I do. Nah. Well, I think it's the same as anything. Same as any yeah. job. Again, there's most pastors I get along with. I reckon. Yeah. Um, it's not too many pastors I don't get along with, but I try to get along with most people. Mm. There's definitely pastors that I don't like as much as others or don't go out of my way to chat to if I'm yeah. at a particular when you go to the pastor's conferences and have yeah. to sit with particular that's probably the only time I would avoid some of those if I go to a pastor's conference and I'm like oh it's that guy well you do Very get rarely. along with like, like it's in any field of life there's people you click with really well there's yeah. people you know like you've known for a mm. long longer there's some people that do they just mm. you know they're good people but they just rub you up the wrong yeah, way and that's it and that's just normal and um ministry is a Every, there are people that have different styles of ministry and there's definitely pastors that agree and disagree with certain styles mm. of ministry. It's probably like styles of teaching or styles of yeah. other careers, but and they're the ones you probably do, yeah, can yep. clash with sometimes. And, yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I think one of the good things about here in Sunraysia is again that the, the, the pastors or the ministers across the various churches are very, very different. You know, we've got some very Pentecostal churches, we've got some very older styled conservative churches and everything in the middle. But we all get along mm. really well. I don't know, you get along really well with, with all the other yeah, youth leaders, well, youth pastors well. and stuff like that. Time. I get along really healthy relationships. Well, we're not mm. having barbies with everybody every weekend or anything mm. like that, but there is a real healthy uh, respect mm. for one another and, uh, and a friendship there. So mm. it's good for our local community. It is. It's important. important. Well, that's Ooh, five questions. Five. And we've got five more to go. We're going to take a bit of a breather, don't we? Yeah. 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 Mm. Are you finding these interesting? Yeah. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, and we'll continue these next week. Another yeah. pastor's chat with next Kelly week. And Tom. Five more of these questions. 
that you want to ask, but you're too afraid to ask. Thanks for joining us. Yeah. See you next week. Thank you.